I think our goal in the social emotional space is really if you can imagine the capacity, the ability of a school district to develop some type of early warning system. Um, and we're starting to see, um, you know, we call leading lag indicators. We're starting to see that um, some of these areas that we're seeing in terms of declines in social emotional uh, motivation, relationships, we come up with the term academic persistence. Uh, you start seeing the decline in the earlier years, and then you start seeing the dramatic declines in attendance um, and behavior. Uh, students are starting to miss school at significant rates, gaps uh, based on race, and then um, certainly at the end of the line, you have your dropout rates. Um, and that's something that uh, we've started to do as a department, which has been really interesting. Um, you know, with the support of, of staff in the department, uh, Lizzie McNamara is a person. Lizzie, you here? Lizzie. Lizzie's actually, uh, and, and Eric Vandenberg in our department, is actually has the opportunity. We started looking at dropouts in our district and going back as far as we can to the data points. Okay, so 12th grade, we go as far back as second and third grade. Um, we're starting to look at that data to identify spaces where we could have done a better job as adults. All right, so, so when you start seeing the declines in proficiency and attendance, those are intervention points. One of the things I'm really excited about is that then we couple that with some of the work we're doing with youth participatory evaluation. Okay? So um, this year we trained about 130 students across 19 schools um, on evaluation methods. Um, and the point is, is that as we're discussing this type of data, uh, we really want to bring that to our youth and have them help us make meaning of it and help us make, uh, come up with solutions to some of the challenges we're seeing. Um, we had a chance to talk about leading and lagging indicators and we talked about the case studies um, of a student who dropped out. Um, and you know, I, I, I don't know if I'm uh, surprised, but I'm extremely impressed with the insight that our youth had on what we could have done differently. So this social emotional space is also connected to our youth evaluation work. It's also connected with our on track work. Um, it's also connected to um, the larger work of community partnerships. And, and so think about an entire system that we're trying to develop. But these leading lagging indicators, I think that what stands out to me is that, I, you know, I've been doing out of school time program evaluation, um, oh boy, close to 15 years. And one of the things that you typically see um, is, is with those types of evaluations is people always want to align their work with test scores. Um, you know, when I started doing the work, it was um, standardized test scores. Funders wanted to see the relationship between the out-of-school time outcomes and standardized test scores. Um, and when I talk to people um, about measuring those types of things, people be very honest and say, you know, the, the program really isn't designed to increase test scores, okay? Perhaps you may see um, changes in grades. Sometimes you may see changes in behavior. Um, students are more inclined to go to school more, right? They're motivated. Um, and so when you look at the middle box of behavior, attendance, grades, um, those are typically things that uh, out-of-school time programs perhaps didn't need to rely in some respects on school districts uh, to get information on. Um, if you look at the, um, now the, the far left, uh, the far right, uh, perception, sense of belonging, motivation, relationships, those are things that now we're starting to measure. Now we're starting to see the relationship between um, how students perceive that they're being treated, the perception of high expectations, um, the extent to which students have a sense of belonging. Right? If you look at the middle box, extracurricular activities, sometimes that's a proxy in many cases for a sense of belonging, the extent to which students are connected to their school environment. Um, behavior and attendance, um, the extent when we look at behavior and attendance, the relationship between behavior and attendance and the relationship. Right, that students have with that adult in the classroom. We're talking, in, in our sense, um, the classroom environment, the teacher. And we know that relationships, behavior, those things vary across settings, right? So, um, you know, from my experience, I would see students excel in out of school time programs. They're engaged, they're excited about the work they're doing. There's an attachment to an interest um, that they're passionate about. Then they come to the classroom environment and they look completely different. And, and to me, this is really the, the crux of this work is, is how do we, take the learnings uh, of, of the school time community um, and things that students are passionate about and truly love, and how do we transfer that into our classroom settings?